Hi, this is Jake Bautista and we'd like to welcome you to a brand new Metro Guide Realty House Tour. Today we are presenting a modern and welcoming four-bedroom house and lot for sale located here in BF Homes, Paranaque City. So this property rests on a lot area of 204 square meters with a floor area of approximately 270 square meters across two levels. Now let's begin by taking a look at the front of the house. It has a very modern facade with access towards the side of the house through this gate right here. Currently, it's set up without a front gate because this is a very secure community and you already have security gates on two sides of the house. But if you'd like, you can still add one. But as an un another perspective, you can also have this patch of greenery as potentially an area where you can have a water feature or you could have a car go up here as an additional parking space on top of your two carport area. So you have parking here for two vehicles, even two sports utility vehicles, and you have access here towards the service area of the house, additional storage, and you also have it almost completely covered as well. Now, as I was saying before, you have parking here for two vehicles, but if you want to use this as a third parking area, you can have your car go up here. And here you have your elevated ground level leading to your main door. You also have an intelligent door lock here as well. And now welcome to your beautiful home. So you're welcomed by an open concept living and dining space. So this is where you can have your dining table and then on this side you have your living area. You also have large windows throughout the space, so much natural light. It's now in the afternoon, so the afternoon sun is on this side. In the morning, it's on the other side, so it's quite cool. Of course, you have the sun going through here in the afternoon, but that can easily be covered up once you have curtains here. And this is a nice touch also, having this cladding design here to differentiate the living space. You have access towards your second floor here. And this entire area is where you can have your dining table. And to give you more air and ventilation, you can open up this sliding door leading towards a landscape area at the side of the house. In addition, I also wanna point out how sturdy the windows of this house are. These are PVC windows as well. And on this side, for convenience, you immediately have your powder room. In terms of the finishes used, you have Kola for your water closet, which is a quality brand. And looking here, this sliding door design leads towards the first room in the house. So this is a multi-purpose room. I said this is a four bedroom property, but this can be maximized as a home office or potentially a first bedroom. It's up to you. I like how smooth the mechanism is. So that means it's very well built. And then this is a corner room. You already have a provision for a window type air conditioning unit. So this can be maximized as a den space or TV room if you'd like, if you don't need a bedroom at the ground floor. And then of course you can always replace this with a door if you don't like this sliding design, if you want greater privacy as well. Of course that option is available once you purchase the house and it's already up to you depending on your interior design preferences, okay? And here you have your main kitchen. What 
what I love about this kitchen space is how open it is and there's so much storage. It also feels very well thought out. You have all this cabinetry but at the same time, you have so much ventilation because of these three large windows with screens as well. So you have that air flowing through the space so it's breezy. And you have your range hood cooktop already included as well as an additional space here for your double sink and then a microwave and oven and lots of pantry storage. And of course, you have a dedicated space here where you can have your refrigerator. And also as another touch, you even have a cable provision here in case you want to have like a small television set here at the corner. Now from your main kitchen, it's important to take a look also at the service areas of the house. And this is your heavy wash area. This can be the laundry space. This is where you can have your washing machine. And check this out. I love that it's already completely covered. So it's cool. And also it's quite private. And then you have an additional security gate here at the back leading to the back of the house and around to the front. Let's take a quick look. Okay. And then as we go around the front, you have that landscape area. And then this already has lights here. And then you have an additional space on this side. So you can potentially even have this as the laundry area as well. It's up to you how you want to maximize each space. And then you have sta your staff bathroom here and then you have an additional staff quarters up there. So I'm gonna walk up so you see the size. So from the staff room, you have an additional area here. And in addition, as I mentioned, you have a security gate at the left side of the house and then you have this additional security gate at the right side of the house. So that's why there's no longer any gate in front. But it's up to you, you can still add one if you'd like in the future. Okay, now we're back here. I'm just gonna show you the size of the space. Okay. This is an ideal property if you're coming from a very large property and you want a house that's easier to manage or you're coming from a condo or a townhouse and you want to scale up, okay? And here you have your staircase leading to the second level, natural wood throughout here for the steps. And what I like is they're easy to climb and it's very wide in terms of the staircase. Then you have your landing space here, lots of natural light. And then at the second floor, you have three more bedrooms, but the design maximized for you to have an additional dense space. So this is such a cozy area. I can imagine having a couch here and then having a large widescreen TV on this side. So very private in terms of having family over up here while you have guests downstairs. And another thing that maximizes the space of this house is you can pull this down and you have a folding staircase leading towards attic storage, okay? And here you have your second and third bedrooms. Here you have your second bedroom. So it's a corner room with a provision for a window type air conditioning unit. Of course, if you'd like to have a split type air conditioning unit, this can easily be covered up. And I like how sturdily built the entire house is. Very pulido in terms of the finishes of the paint on the walls and even the cabinetry. I love this whole feature wall here, which is multi-purpose. You have storage, and then you have an area here where you can have a small television. And then on this side, you also have that additional cladding to give it uniformity, okay? And then you have an ensuite bathroom. So very well organized, floor to ceiling tiling, and I like that wooden design for the shower area. 
And then right here you have your third bed. So it's identical in terms of the dimensions with the last room. It's also a corner room. Once again, you have this feature wall on this side to give it contrast with your bed on this side. You can easily have a queen-sized bed here and then lots of storage space and then once again an ensuite bathroom. So it's just reversed from the last bedroom. Okay. So even though it already has a window, there's still a, uh, an exhaust fan as well. So what you have here, just in case you're curious if you saw this, this is what you use to pull this down. And then of course you have your primary bedroom. This has the most significant size versus the other rooms. It's a corner room facing the front of the house as well. And of course, you'll notice this cladding design here, where you have your hidden wall leading towards your bathroom area. But of course, I'll walk around first so you can have a feel of the size of the space. So you can have your bed here, television on this side, and what I like about this village, it's very quiet, lots of trees all around, very private, and also it gives you fast access towards Alabang. And since this is BF Homes, you also have access towards Las Piñas, Sukat Road, Skyway, and the airport. And let's take a look here. Nice. You have a spacious walk-in closet area. And then, of course, your bathroom space. I'm just gonna walk in so you see the size. Once again, you have that wooden tiling all throughout the space. Okay, this is very easy to maintain as well. And gives a warm feel, which is a great contrast to the marble design along the wall. Okay. And also a nice lighted mirror as well. Okay, so that caps off our quick house tour. If you want to know more about this property or visit it in person, just click the description below where you can get in touch with us through our email and number shown there. You can also send us a message and follow us through Instagram and Facebook and now also on TikTok. And if you have a property you'd like to feature through our channel, you can send us an email at metroguidrealty at gmail.com. Once again, my name is Jake Bautista. Thank you for watching. And we look forward to bringing you clarity, quality, and convenience in finding a great Metro Manila home for you and your family. Contact us today in the email and number shown here to schedule a property viewing. You can also click the description below for the property details. Don't forget to click that subscribe button so that you can get notified of our future videos. Thanks for watching and we look forward to bringing you and your family a great Metro Manila home.